Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Um, I have this article talking about uh, the CDC director who um, got sick or tests positive for COVID-19. So this article is from Republic World. It's from October 23rd, 2022. This is the title. CDC director tests positive for COVID-19 has mild symptoms. So this is the person, if uh, you remember her. All right. So this is the person. Uh, the director of U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention has tested positive for COVID-19. Well, I hope she's going to be okay. The reason... Uh, the reason why I'm making this video is not because I'm uh, somehow uh, celebrating a person being sick. No, it's just uh, to point out that um, I'm probably 99.9% .9 certain that she uh, did everything that she could uh, to avoid the illness, obviously, and she still got it. And uh, I, as I said, I hope she's doing okay. She doesn't uh, seem too uh, old or too young either, so she's not in a bra bracket of uh, high risk. Therefore, I know that she's going to be all right unless she's got some, um, um, I don't know, some hidden uh, previous diagnostics that we are not aware of. The director of the U.S. Uh, Centers for Disease Control uh, and prevention tests uh, positive. Okay, Dr. Ra Rochelle Walensky, Valensky, who is up to date on her vaccinations, tested positive Friday night and had mild symptoms, the CDC said in a statement. And I'm uh, quoting, consistent with CDC guidances, she is isolating at home and will participate in her planned meetings virtually. Unquote. The agency said senior staff and close contacts have been informed of her positive tests and are monitoring their health. Is she having a, um, a flu too? Is she going to uh, isolate having a flu? Yeah? Okay. All right. Just want to make sure. What if she is if she's having a cold? Will she isolate and have her meetings virtually? I mean, I hope she's not gonna have any problems. She catches a cold, you know what I mean? It's very dangerous. So I think that she should stay for the rest of the year, isolated in the basement, so she doesn't infect anybody, uh, uh, any, anybody else with anything that she might have, if you know what I mean, including STDs, <laughs> just to. Uh, take that out of the way <laughs> if you know what I mean <laughs> well you never know you never know those could be you know damaging <laughs> for at least for a while so Valensky who took over the CDC in January 2021 after being appointed by President Joe Biden is the latest US health official to test positive for COVID-19 this year Dr. Anthony Fauci, the face of America's pandemic response, and U.S. Health Secretary Javier Basera, both tested positive in June. Well, I hope they are doing okay, and I'm pretty sure that they are up to date with their vaccines, thank God. And I hope they will uh, isolate for the next 15 years. I don't know if Fauci will be with us for the next 15 years, but who knows, Basera could be. So um, I made this video just uh, because, um, you know, uh, we have this issue with all these guidances um, directed towards a sickness, or illness, or however you want to call it. And uh, I hope that they are doing okay. And um, obviously they will follow the guidances. And moreover, I would insist that they not only follow the guidances, but I would say that they should stay in car quarantine for about five years to make sure that they are okay and they do not expose anybody else 
uh, to the risk of this. I think we should vote. Who's for? Okay, so we are all in agreement. Um, and that would uh, obviously help us avoid another pandemic and uh, we will save the world and uh, so on. And now that I'm done with bullshitting, I wish you a very good night. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.